Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography, and our own community member Yervant has found an absolute gem when it comes to reducing noise in your image, and it's called Deep SNR by Starnet. And not really my style, but I should have done a reaction video when I first tried this last night. I was so blown away that when I got over the initial shock at how good this is, I picked up my phone right away and went to go email Yervant and realize it's about 12.45 in the morning. So I emailed him this morning and let him know just how amazing this piece of software is. And the best part is, it's free. In one of my first videos, I mentioned you don't need the most expensive stuff. Now, as always, I wanna give credit where credit is due. I wanna give a big shout out to the team at Starnet for developing this amazing software. And if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss out on any valuable information. Now let's jump on in and learn how to download and install Starnet and take a look at some of the results. To download Deep SNR and install into PixInsight, what you're gonna do is go to your favorite web browser and go to www.deepsnrastro.com. That'll bring you to the Deep SNR homepage, click download, and here you'll see the three operating systems that Deep SNR works with. Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. You're gonna see a couple of more options. PixInsight versions 1.8.9-1 and lower, and PixInsight versions 1.8.9-2 and higher. That'll be the same for all three operating systems. The other options listed here, do you have StarNet or do you not have StarNet? You'll know if you have StarNet. If you're not sure, download, do not have StarNet. Once you pick your appropriate operating system, PixInsight version, and whether you have StarNet or not, click on the associated link. Now, I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it again. But once you click on the link, depending on your system, you'll see a downloads box in the top right corner. That'll look something like this. You'll see deep SNR downloading, and once it's done, click open file. That'll bring you to the folder that your computer downloaded Deep SNR into. You'll see a folder like this, double click, and you're gonna see weights.pb and pxm.dll. Highlight both of those folders and copy. From here, you're gonna to navigate to where your PixInsight program is located on your computer. If you're a Windows user, that'll more than likely be under Program Files. Once you locate your PixInsight program, double click on the folder, and locate bin. Double click on the bin folder and control V to paste those two folders that you just copied from the deep SNR download. Once you're done, go back into PixInsight, go to process, modules, install modules. Go ahead and click search and PixInsight will locate the deep SNR files that you just installed or pasted into the bin folder within PixInsight. It'll probably just say one additional PixInsight module and it'll label Deep SNR. That's perfectly fine. Click OK and then click Install. Once you click Install, when you go into Process All Processes, you'll find Deep SNR is located within your processes. Now, let's go ahead and open a file. I'm going to go ahead and open my NGC2264 image. I'm gonna run through the process and what we're gonna do here is get this image up to the point where we would reduce the noise and then I'm gonna clone it so that then we have uh, an apples to apples comparison between Blur Exterminator and Deep SNR. If you have any questions on what you're about to see, please view my um, PixInsight workflow videos. I go through everything that you're about to see within the next uh, couple of minutes here. And I'll go ahead and explain very briefly as we go. I'm gonna find my most prominent color channel, in this case, blue. Separate the color channels. I'm gonna to go to Linear Fit, and I'm gonna go ahead and choose my blue channel and apply the blue channel to each of my other color channels. What this will end up doing is balancing the color channels and giving us a much better final image. 
as a visual representation, I'm going to go ahead and bring out screen transfer function, do a linked stretch, and you see that our color channels are not balanced. Now when I go into channel combination and I choose the three color channels that I just balanced, what you're going to see here is when we do a linked stretch, our color channels are now balanced. I'm going to delete my separated channels and delete my original image as I don't need them anymore. And then what I'm going to do is do a correct only with Blur Exterminator. If I can click on the correct thing here. This is going to go ahead and correct the stars and get rid of any potential issues uh, that will cause any issues with background extraction, especially when you're using an AI model, and also any issues with spectrophotometric color calibration. The other piece to that is going to be cropping out any stacking artifacts, as that can also confuse AI models when you are extracting backgrounds as well as color balancing. Next, what we're going to do is bring out Graxpert and extract the background. Once the background is extracted, we're going to go ahead and resolve the image since cropping got rid of the astrometric solution. And we need to make sure that we solve the image because SPCC or spectrophotometric color calibration uses that data in order to apply the correct colors to your image. Now that we are solved, what we're going to do here is open up a preview. And then we're going to go ahead and bring up SPCC. Choose our sensor, choose our filter that we used, choose the background, or the preview of the background is what I should say. And SPCC just applied the correct colors to our image. Now what we're going to do is open up a luminance get our full width half max eccentricity 2.57 open up blur exterminator and we're going to go ahead and apply 2.57 to the PSF diameter and that's going to take care of the rest of our stars Watch this, go ahead and correct here in just a second. Boom. All right, now what we're gonna do is it's time for noise reduction. Let's clone this. So now we can agree these images are identical in every way. So what we're gonna do is process all processes and we're gonna bring out first noise exterminator, which will be applied to our left image. And we're going to bring out deep SNR, which will be applied to our right image. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Let's clone that zoom. I'm going to leave deep SNR as default. And then once this is done running, let's go ahead and run Noise Exterminator as default as well. So we can see right here, denoise 0.9 at Noise Exterminator's default. We have just a little bit of noise left. And if you see my Noise Exterminator video, you want a little bit of noise. Um, you don't want to go completely smooth because you can actually start getting rid of structure and just making it too smooth to work with and, and, and look good. Here, 
the strength is 1 on deep SNR. And we have very little, if any, noise left. Let's go ahead and zoom in right in this region here. Let's go ahead and clone that. And the results are just absolutely astounding already. You can see structure in the deep SNR area, right where my cursor is. Over here, it's just blurred out. The contrast is gone, it's way too smooth. And we used less of a smoothing factor in Noise Exterminator than we did in Deep SNR. I mean, if we really go in and we start pixel peeping here, let's take this structure over here. Let's clone that zoom. And the contrast is just in this area here between both sides. It's just down in here, this structure where my cursor is over here. You have contrast, you can still make out structure. Just an absolute amazing piece of software. And it's free and it's still under development. So if they're starting off this good already, it's just, it's hard to say how good this is actually gonna be. Now, Deep SNR does come with a little bit of quirks. Um, you do want to use this in the beginning of your process. I found through playing with it that it works best after you um, uh, crop your image. You know, you're gonna balance your color channels, crop the image, and do a background extraction, then run Deep SNR. And I'll put out a video where I integrate Deep SNR into my workflow. And um, if you wanna see that, if you're ready for that and want that to be my next release, drop a comment in the comment section, let me know. I'm more than happy to do that. Now, an example here, let's open up this image and let's zoom in. This was run at the same time that I would normally run uh, Noise Exterminator, which is what you saw in this little demonstration. And you can see some of the quirks here. Again, Deep SNR is a um, is still under development, and it does work very well. Let's minimize these comparisons really quick, and let me show you. This one right over here is going to be my original NGC twenty two sixty four um, image, okay, and here's the one that I just did today with uh, playing around with Deep SNR and integrating it into my workflow and figuring out the best place to put it. And you can see, just right out the gate already, the detail is a lot better. The contrast is a lot better. This was used um, after balancing color channels, cropping, and then extracting the background and then I used Deep SNR and ran my workflow the rest of the way. So you can see that I avoided, we'll just clone the zoom. I avoided all of these little anomalies here by doing it that way. And again, I'll put out a video, drop a comment, let me know if you want that to be the next video. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll go ahead and include it in that video as well but just an amazing piece of software. It does such a good job, retains detail. I'm, I'm just absolutely blown away. So I hope that you found this useful. If you did, do me a favor. That channel icon that popped up, hit that channel icon and subscribe. I don't want you to miss out on any valuable information. Drop a comment in the comment section. Did you find this useful? Do you have any questions? And then check out that next video. Until the next time, clear skies.